show you some ways to format text. Basically, formatting text just means to make it look different. Um, boldface, italics, underline, making the font look bigger, changing the font to something else. If you look up here in this area, make sure we're on the Home tab, and in this area, this is our basic text formatting area. Okay. Notice this font that we have. This is our basic font. So if we don't change that, that is the font that we're going to be using. Okay, it's the default font. And this is the default font size. After we type the information, and I suggest that is the best way to do it, is type your information before you change the font. Then you can select the text that you want to make a change to. So I just click and drag uh, drag my mouse across, so I clicked and held down my left mouse button, drag my mouse across to select the text. Then I can make changes. I can change the font by clicking the down arrow. Then I get a list of all the different fonts that I have available. They're in alphabetical order. Up at the top are going to be my recently used fonts. So you can scroll down through the list and find a font that you like and click on it and it will change the, the text that you have selected. We can also make the font larger by changing this. this so this is the font size. Click the down arrow and we can choose a, a larger font size. You can also boldface from here once you have something selected in bold, if you want to turn it off, you just click on it again and it turns it off. You can italicize. Now if you don't have this text selected and then you decide that you want to go back and take that italics off, notice with my blinking cursor down here, I, can't, I can only see what this font is, where my blinking cursor is. If I go up here and select this text, then it will show me what font I have and what special things that I've added to that font like italics. Then I can turn it off if I would like to do that. So you have to select the text again to turn off any of those options or make any changes. Of course you have an underline you can do or you can turn it off. We have some other special things that we'll skip right now. Um, we can also highlight our text Okay, sometimes if we just want to make sure that we bring our attention to certain text, we can select that and then we can even click the down arrow and choose a different color highlighter if we would like. Okay, so it's just like using highlighter that you might have in your drawer on a physical sheet of paper. You can do that right here on your computer. Now if you decide you don't like that highlight, then you have to select the text with, that is highlighted, click the down arrow and say no color. You can also change the color of the font. So let's select this, groceries. And notice when you select it, a little quick menu pops up. You can also use this menu. You see the same options that you have up there in the basic text area of your home ribbon. You can also use this instead of going up there. It works exactly the same way. So if we want to change the color of the font, we're going to use this button. If I clicked right here, it would change the color to red that you see right now on this button. If I want to change it to something else, click the down arrow, and then I will choose the color that I want. Click off of the text to actually see it a little bit better and how it changed that. So have fun with formatting your text.